Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Nur Shafiqah binti Ahmad Husaini, a final year student of biology at University Teknologi Mara Arau. Today, I will be presenting my final year project titled A Systematic Literature Review on the Attributes and Profusion of Microplastic in Marine and River Fish Around Southeast Asian Waters, supervised by Dr. Khairunisa binti Ahmad Kamil. To begin with the presentation, we will have a look at the table of content. I will cover the introduction, methodology, results and discussion, conclusion and lastly references. As for results and discussion, there are three subtopics that will be discovered which are first, microplastic ingestion by marine and river fish. Second, the attributes of ingested microplastics in marine and river fish. And the last one, the profusion of ingested microplastics in marine and river fish. So, what are microplastics? Microplastics are described as small plastic particles, smaller than 5 mm in length, and they are subsequently classified as primary or secondary based on their origins. Existing research indicates that ingested microplastics have physical and physiological impacts such as reduced predatory efficiency, reproductive instability, oxidative damage, hepatic stress, growth delay, neurodegenerative illness, and death. Thus, this study is conducted to investigate the attributes and profession of microplastic in both marine and river fish. The area of interest is around Southeast Asia. The major research questions direct our systematic literature review, which are what is the profession of microplastics in fish around the Southeast Asian water and what are their attributes. Next, the objective of this study are to identify the attributes and profession of microplastics in marine and river fish and to compare the percentage of microplastics in fish around Southeast Asian waters. As for methodology, there are eight steps that have been involved, which is the first one is review protocol. This study employs the reporting standards or systematic evidence synthesis evaluation process, or also known as ROSES. The second step is formulation of research question. Because of its focus on microplastic pollution in fish of Southeast Asian waters, this study searched for studies from all related countries but found only studies from four countries, which are Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, and Philippines. The third step is systematic searching strategy. This step comprises the procedures of identification, screening, and eligibility. The fourth step is identification. This step resulted with 374 Scopus database findings and 346 Web of Science database findings. The fifth step is screening. Following the criteria, there were 34 articles found in Scopus and 27 in Web of Science. The sixth step is eligibility. In this step, only 18 articles were chosen to be evaluated in this study. The seventh step is quality appraisal. It was decided that there was no need to remove any items after this procedure. The last step is data synthesis. In this step, the articles were then evaluated and articles that look at related topics were placed together. Now, we will move to the results and discussion. So, figure 1 shows the number of articles found for each country. The highest number of studies among these four countries is Malaysia due to rapid development and intense economic activities. Then, figure 2 shows the number of articles found in every year. As we can see, the number of articles increased with the years. The highest number of articles found is in 2021. Next is about microplastic ingestion by marine and river fish. Human activities such as garbage disposal contribute to the occurrence of microplastics in soil and ocean. Subsequently, plastic trash will be consumed as a result of predation, particularly when predatory fish grab their little prey in groups. 
Beside that, microplastics transport the chemical compounds to aquatic species and function as a route for additional chemical pollutants in aquatic ecosystems. Lastly, desorption in gastrointestinal tract might be 30 times more than in seawater. Moving on to the attributes of ingested microplastics in marine and river fish. This figure shows the number of articles that discover the types of microplastics in marine and river fish. The types of microplastics that have been discovered in marine and river fish are fragment, fiber, phlegm, pellet, filament, foam, line, rod shape, microbit, and spheres. From this figure, we can see that the highest type of ingested microplastics for both marine and river fish is fragment. Now, we will look at the colors of ingested microplastics. So, this figure shows the number of articles that discover the colors of ingested microplastics in marine and river fish. The colors of ingested microplastics that have been identified in both marine and river fish are black, red, green, blue, transparent, dark blue, light blue, brown, yellow, pink, gray, purple, white, and orange. From this figure, it can be concluded that the highest color of ingested microplastics for both marine and river fish is blue. Next is about the provision of ingested microplastics in marine and river fish. Indonesia has shown the highest amount of microplastics found in both marine and river fish. A study also found that Thailand, Indonesia and Vietnam constitute the majority of marine plastic debris accounting for 0.15 to 1.29 million tons annually. It is predicted that rivers in these countries are the biggest polluters of plastics into the marine ecosystem. So, this is the summary table of studies on the attributes and profession of microplastic in marine fish around Southeast Asian waters. The highlighted one indicates the highest amounts of microplastics in marine fish which is in Indonesia with 2,063 microplastic particles found. Moving to the summary table of studies on the attributes and profession of microplastic in river fish around Southeast Asian waters. The highlighted one indicates the highest amount of microplastics in river fish which is also in Indonesia with 76% to 100% of microplastics found. The last part for this results and discussion is about the comparison of microplastic found. As we can see, this is the comparison table of studies on the amounts of microplastic found in fish around Southeast Asian waters. It is possible to infer that Indonesia has shown the highest amount of microplastics found in both marine and river fish. Also, the amount of microplastics found in marine fish is higher than in river fish. To summarize, it was discovered that the percentage of ingested microplastics in marine fish is higher than in river fish. The presence of microplastics in fish from both marine and river ecosystems indicate the degree of plastic debris related to anthropogenic activities. Moreover, microplastics within commercial fish in gastrointestinal tract and gills could threaten safety of food for humans. Although fish viscera and gills are frequently removed before human meal, additional research into plastic contamination of edible fish tissues is suggested. Thus, further study is required to have a better knowledge and analyze the risks associated with marine and river food safety across Southeast Asian waters. So, these are the references that are used in this study. That's all from me. Thank you very much for viewing and listening to my presentation.